To balance the equation for this neutralization reaction, we have perchloric acid plus magnesium hydroxide, an acid and a base. Let's count the atoms up on each side. We have one hydrogen, plus we have this two times the one here, so we have two more hydrogens. That gives us three. One chlorine oxygens. We have four here, plus this two applies to everything in the parentheses. Two times one, that's two. So we have six oxygens and then one magnesium. On the product side, we have the two hydrogens. We have two times the one chlorine. That gives us two of those. Two times four, eight oxygens. Plus, we have one oxygen here. So we have a total of nine oxygens. And then magnesium, we have one of those. Let's leave the oxygens and hydrogens till last. Fix the chlorines, see how that works out. So we have two here and one here. So let's put a coefficient of two in front of the HClO4. And then let's update things. We have one times two for the hydrogens, plus the two times the one, two there. Four hydrogens, chlorines, one times the two. So we balanced the chlorines, that was our goal. And now four times two, that's eight oxygens, plus two times the one, that gives us two. So eight plus two is 10. Okay, let's fix the hydrogens next. I think that might fix the oxygens. We have four here and two here. We put a two in front of the H2O, two times two, that'll give us four. So those are balanced. Then we need to update the oxygens again. We have two times four, that gives us eight, plus one times the two, that gives us two. And we have 10 oxygen atoms. And now everything's the same on each side. This equation is balanced. The key, be very careful when you're counting up the hydrogens because you have them in the HClO4 and in the magnesium hydroxide. Oxygen's the same. And then it's usually a good idea to leave the oxygens to last when you're balancing. This is Dr. B with the balanced equation for HClO4 plus MgOH2. Thanks for watching.